the first look of the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G is here and it could be the best mid-range phone of 2023 despite having only one problem which I will discuss in the video. Hey what's up guys welcome back to another video. So guys if you are looking for the best budget phone around you will find out that the Galaxy A series is at the top most ranking. At half the price of flagship phone the Galaxy A series offer a great screen quality excellent battery life and a solid performance and that popular series is about to get refreshed and better with this new freshly leaked galaxy a54 render images well this leak has been coming from all leaks who has a better track record and according to this leak one of the things that is going to be surprising me is the front display which is coming with thick bezels on all the corner and we also have a very prominent chin at the bottom which is kind of a disappointment a little bit not so good well in terms of display it's going to be same as 6.4 inch oled full hd plus resolution 120 hz refresh rate flat display on the front 5000 battery it will be protected by gorilla glass protection so in other departments it's plus but for the bezels department it's really looking not so much great on the front side and you know, when we move towards the back side here we have some refreshes as compared to the lost galaxy f 3 instead of having a camera island on the back and having a four cameras we now have a triple camera setup on the back side which are coming with galaxy ultra like separated camera islands and a clean overall look and you know, this leak does not mention any camera sensors that are coming for the galaxy f 4 but the previous leaks had indicated that we might actually going to see a 50 megapixel of samsung gn1 sensor which is way much better than the 64 megapixel sensor that was arrived in the galaxy f 3 both the video and the photo performance is going to be better in this new 50 megapixel sensor and you know, we might not actually going to also see the macro shooter inside the device according to the report and the three camera sensor could be a 50 megapixel of a main sensor ultra wide camera and a telephoto lens on the back side just because the fact that macro lens are coming with two or four megapixel and they really doesn't have any good quality and you know one of the surprising thing that we have seen on the 91 mobiles leaks spec sheet that we might actually going to see exynos 7904 chipset but i really think that this is not going to be the case because Currently, the Galaxy A53 5G comes with the Exynos 1280 processor, so it's only logical to expect a successor to have a next-gen chip rather than an older one. And coincidentally, just recently we saw an Exynos 1380 chipset appear on the Bluetooth SIG database, which has been coming with two high-performance CPU cores and a newer Mali G615 GPU for a neat speed improvement over the Exynos 1280 which is going to be a good thing just because of the fact that it will improve the performance from the last year generation and there are more chances that we can expect the Exynos 1380 inside the A54 5G and you know this chip's also integrated with 5G modem with MM wave and sub 6 GHz connectivity and it's also supported by Bluetooth 5.3 standards. Moving forward, the Galaxy A54 5G has also been passed the certification from China 3C, which indicates that this device is going to be sold there as well. So guys, up till now, there is no pricing detail about the device. So we could expect that the pricing could be same as the last year model because there are no major improvements coming for the Galaxy A54. And you guys, the overall difference, I feel that is going to be the thick bezels on the front of the device. They shouldn't be there because they are not looking good. Other than that, the performance could expect to be better both in the internals and in the camera department. And you guys, this is my opinion. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace.